In sickle cell disease, red blood cells lose their circular shape and become rigid circles. The circles get stuck in small blood vessels, cutting off blood supply to the affected tissues. Genetic cause of sickle cell disease is simple. Patients have homozygous point mutation in beta globin gene. It is an A to T substitution that replaces amino acid glutamine with amino acid valine in beta globin protein. Under low oxygen conditions, modified beta globin forms rigid strands that transform red blood cells into circles. Red blood cells have a short lifespan. They are continuously being replaced by dividing hematopoietic stem cells found in bone marrow. Circle cell gene therapy works by extracting patients' own hematopoietic stem cells, applying genetic modification to them, and reintroducing them back into the patient. Once back in the patient, modified hematopoietic stem cells start dividing, producing healthy red blood cells that are no longer prone to circling. Genetic modification is done in a lab with the help of modified viruses. In gene therapy, viruses stripped off of their infectious components serve as gene delivery vehicles. Genetic payload carried by a virus could include a functional beta globin gene missing in circle cell patients. Another approach to circle cell gene therapy involves reactivating production of fetal hemoglobin. In fetal hemoglobin, the function of beta globin protein is performed by another molecule called gamma globin. Gamma globin is produced in human fetus and in newborn babies. Six months after birth, production of gamma globin drops and beta globin starts performing its function. Genetic mechanism that blocks production of gamma globin involves another gene called BCL11A located on a different chromosome. Protein produced by BCL11A binds to DNA near gamma globin site, stopping its production. Using CRISPR-Cas9 system, BCL11A gene can be disabled. As a result, production of gamma globin gets restored. After gamma globin replaces mutated beta globin in hemoglobin molecule, the circling of red blood cells is stopped. Both approaches to circle cell gene therapy have been already tested in initial clinical trials. Today we have first patients cured of sickle cell disease by gene therapy. If you want to learn more about sickle cell gene therapy, please follow the link to Bio501 website where you will find the complete article.